Y'all ready to see something crazy? This is Project Quantum, a looter shooter where everything you acquire can be traded for real world currency called Qubit. You can jump into the game, gather as much as you can, and get out before something gets you. Bruh, the soundtrack's going hard. It's a beautiful shooter. They've got PvE and PvP content in here and the ability to go in, get loot, and get out, kind of like Tarkov. Let's just dive into this. First of all, guys, welcome back to the channel. Listen, today we're taking a sponsored look at Project Quantum, but I gotta tell you, I am so bullish on this game. First of all, crypto gaming right now is surging and it's 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 a beautiful time <laughs> to see everything doing this so well in the market. One of the biggest things that are driving this is the fact that it's not all about earnings. Some of the games that are starting to show up or just they look great and they have earning incentives, right? You got big names in the field like Star Atlas. You got huge things like Alluvium on board. And then you have Project Quantum. The crazy footage that you just saw is only a prototype. And it's what the devs are using to test this massive project that's scheduled for release on 2024. But I had no idea this existed till yesterday until Frazier Gordon. The CEO and founder behind the project contacted me and wanted to know if I wanted to take a sponsored look at their game. I started digging into this and I bought a million tokens. <laughs> Listen, there's a trillion. So we're going to look at the market cap and stuff a little bit later. But the idea behind this, it fixes so many things that I hate about shooters in general. And it does so many cool things about looting NFTs with PvP and PVE in an MMO FPS. Yes, you heard it right. Like I haven't seen a game of this caliber since way back in the day when I was playing Ultima Online and there was a cool game that came out called Tabla Rasa, which was an incredible game for its time. It's not that shiny on camera right now because it's so old at this point, but when the game, the world really wasn't ready for this game when it came out, but it had so many awesome things. And there was recently a game that came out called Escape from Tarkov, which you probably know as a very competitive online shooter. Now, I liked something very much in Escape from Tarkov. I liked being able to go in almost naked and try to jack some of the best equipment from people that were unprepared. And it was a really, really immersive game and fun for a time. I, I lost interest in it because PvP competitive shooters are really, really hard to master unless you spend a significant amount of time in them. And as many different games as I cover, I just don't have the time to get really good at games like that. So they're a little bit defeating. But being able to go in and do some of the things like get loot and get out is very, very compelling. Ever since I started playing like the Dark Zone stuff in Division and Division 2, it it was very very compelling and very heart racing and this is going to have monsters like you just saw in the trailer it's going to be pve enemies and different objectives for all kind of people i'm really getting ahead of myself let's just jump into one piece of this at a time and and move forward like i was saying before it was founded by fraser gordon quantum works was founded in 2021 when fraser gordon saw a unique opportunity and a gap in the global marketplace for AAA gaming title and studio where fairness and customer satisfaction led the way with one key twist. Quantum Works is funded solely from its own cryptocurrency token, a BEP20 token, which is Binance Smart Chain, utilizing a smart contract on Binance blockchain network. This cryptocurrency is the money which we will drive the economy in Quantum Works' first AAA title to be published, Project Quantum a working title and future titles to come. So they're not just here for one game either. They're here for multiples. And all of the assets that you saw, all of the video footage that you saw in the trailer is put together from scratch with big partners like Dragon Lake and One Pixel Brush. Now, at first, when I heard these names, it didn't really register, but let me show you something. Dragon Lake Studios is a best-in-class multi-genre PC and console game development studio that has partners with people like Epic Games, 505 Games, Sony, Microsoft, Gearbox, Nintendo. And the projects that they've done are titles like Outriders, Re We Happy Few, and look at the team. 
handpicked the team of outstanding industry veterans who had some of the most remarkable AAA games of recent years. Assassin's Creed, Witcher 3, The Wild Hunt, Just Cause 3, Darksiders 2, Red Dead Redemption, Mass Effect. It The Division, it keeps going on. <laughs> like These guys have been around for a while. And the art assets aren't some Unreal Engine ripped stuff that just came around. One Pixel Brush has done concept art for the likes of Last of Us 2. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Th these people are not playing around, okay? High, high, high quality assets. Look at all the environment concepts that they've done in their their little art portfolio, okay? <laughs> it's, it's, it's kind of mind-blowing. This is a crypto game with assets so <laughs> that are produced for it like this, okay? This is not point and click crypto mining games that we've covered in the past. This is triple A grade stuff that is going to be coming to the blockchain near you with NFTs and play to earn mechanic. And something else that I think is crazy is the fact that they're building this to seamlessly integrate with crypto. The, a lot of the complications of getting into blockchain gaming, when I was at least, and for a lot of new users, is the fact that they have to worry about these wallets and buying this certain amount of crypto and getting this so certain token. And when everything is put into place, Frazier tells me that they have their own wallet that's going to support multiple cryptocurrencies, that's going to have a fiat ramp, meaning that you'll just be able to insert your credit card and go. That's what I'm talking about. For mass adoption, we talk about this all the time in Around the Metaverse, the podcast that I'm on every Monday. And that is one of the things that we know as gamers is very, very important to move in the industry forward. I couldn't be more excited about it. First of all, it's an Unreal Engine, which always tells you that there's gonna be some high quality assets and some really, really strong gameplay, especially because it's Unreal Engine 5, okay? There's a lot of AAA shooters that are already using Unreal Engine 5 and they are super successful. The token is BSC, already low on gas. You could buy it on Pancake Swap whenever you want. And they really are stressing building a fun game, something that is built for gamers. You know, they chose Shooter because you can see the popularity in the industry right now with things like Fortnite and Tarkov and Call of Duty. That's what the majority of gamers like is the competitive esports industry. And to tell you the truth, I don't play a whole lot of competitive shooters nowadays because they're a little bit too competitive with PvP and they don't have enough PvE. I used to play a lot of Quake 3, Quake 2, Quake 1, even Quake 4 for a little while. Unreal Tournament, Doom, Hexen, Heretic, all of these old PvE slash PvP shooters that were just run and gun, quick frags. Those were exhilarating times for me. And there was no matchmaking system back then. You logged into a PvP game on a Quake three server for instance and there was somebody getting 50 frags and you'd be sitting there with like three you know what i mean and if you don't know what a frag is if you're too old to understand that terminology too young to understand that terminology it's just a, a an easy way of saying kill okay but anyway let's talk about the game world charnel has fallen an sos is sent out from humanity's most distant colony world disoriented cry for help warning of an invasion by never before seen foe the scythe Help is dispatched in the form of Jericho, a city-sized quantum starship, which takes years to make a long journey. The colossal ship has military capabilities, but also the resources to restart a colony, a cryogenic population in stasis. I've seen some really, really cool storylines that are sort of like this, and it's a really, really neat concept. Uh, recently, Outriders, I couldn't think of the name of it. Become a Seeker. Project Quantum is an instance MMOFPS focused around acquiring loot. Okay, that's the focus. Not necessarily PvP. It's all about getting loot. Drop into map alone or as part of a squad, which means you could bring your friends or you could solo. And a lot of people, when they look at MMOs and they're asking about them, they want to know 
about solo builds and stuff like that because not all people can get together with friends or online communities. Sometimes they just have a quick half hour, 45 minutes to just game. They don't want to worry about coordinating schedules with other people before work or after school and all this stuff. They just want to play. So that aspect is really, really attractive to people like me that start work at five o'clock in the morning and sometimes like to play even before that. Then extract yourself before you lose it all, which is the heart pounding mechanic that was so popular with the division and Tarkov getting out alive with the loot that you just got. Project Quantum is a looter shooter treasure hunter to the death set within a battle royale esque format, whereas in game items can be crafted and traded along with real world currency called Qubit, which is what I recently bought into. Okay, step into the shoes or exosuit of a seeker to explore the new rich sci-fi universe full of lore, mystery, and danger. Meet the split personalities of Amelia, former AI pilot of DeJerico, now, now the self-declared mayor of a thriving market fortress. Venture out into the dangerous wilds to be first to claim unique alien technology, uncover the truth behind how Colony 1 met its fate at the hands of the Scythe, and use the knowledge to uncover rich hidden vaults from the past. I used to play a game called dungeon magic for the nintendo entertainment system i'm talking 8-bit long time ago okay and one of my favorite things to do in that game was to go into areas that i had no business going into and try to steal loot from the treasure chests that were around that land you would get one shot anytime you got hit by anything but it was about knowing what routes to take and being really really careful in order to get out and you talking about going from areas that you got like five gold from a monster or a treasure chest that had a small health potion to like super rare legendary magic items and really really expensive potions and consumables that you can sell for upgrades it was thrilling and so much fun to be able to do that and this is the idea behind becoming a seeker however this is still an MMO, so group content is going to be fun as well getting together with your friends with groups with freaking armies man with guilds it's gonna be a lot a lot of fun going to their roadmap right now we're in quarter four of 2021 which means they're working on the gameplay fundamentals a lot of the stuff is being prototyped right now as you saw some of the prototype and placeholder assets like those red target dummies when they're shooting uh <laughs> the shooting sequences were going by they're doing a lot of team development as well and they have the roadmap mapped out here all through quarter two of 2022 and Speaking of their team development, they've been getting into a bunch of different things right here. If we take a look at the Twitter, the CEO highlight from Gitex, I think that's how you say it, Tech Week, speaking on stage, especially on the panel, got great reception from the audience, both from our project and our long-term stance with gaming and NFTs can do for a widening, wider gamer audience. So Frazier spoke with the director of Binance, Omar Rahim, on stage at this event, talking about cryptocurrency and the NFTs and where gaming is headed in general, the future of crypto gaming. And there's some very, very inspiring information that you can find on their Twitter account, as well as a bunch of their social media. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom of their webpage, after their own marketplace and after the team info, all of the team is docs, by the way. You can just click on them and find out whatever. You see they have a Discord, a community telegram, a Twitter account, which we just looked at, and access to the white paper, which has a ton of info I'll probably be diving into later. Real quick, I just want to cover how to grab the token. If you are not familiar with PancakeSwap, this is where BSC lives. This is the Binance Smart Chain's DEX. Well, the one of the more prominent DEXs. A way to grab some of the tokens that you want based on exchanging it with BNB type currency or BSC type currency or BUSD as I can say. So right now I have 1,115,377 or yeah, that's close to that, which is equates to a little bit half of under half BNB. If I were to trade this for BUSD, you would see that it'd be worth about 296 dollars right now okay so i spent about 300 bucks on the token as of this morning we recently had a very 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 big dip which i jumped into i think i got in 
probably around right here. So I was very, very happy. Right now it's down a little bit and the market cap is very, very modest for a project of this caliber, right? It's 267 million. When you see big crypto gaming projects like Axie Infinity, it's a $40 billion market cap, okay? And this isn't even a AAA grade game. It's just something that has really, really gotten big adoption. And then in terms of gaming, crypto gaming in general, mass adoption has not even occurred yet, guys. We are still so early. So investing in huge projects or projects that are going to be huge like this with so much development, they would have to do something very, very bad to fail, like not releasing the game altogether, which they've put so much time, money and effort into this. And there's so much talent behind the team. I really don't see that happening, man. I am 100% sold on this concept and like i said full transparency this is a sponsored video i am a token holder i'm not just doing this to pump my own bags this is the future of gaming that's why i'm so excited about it guys listen if you want to talk more about nfts and play to earn gaming and all that stuff join my discord guys i have a ton of people in there that we, we talk about play to earn games and nfts all day long as well as follow them on their social media join their discord if you like this project jump in i'll have all the appropriate links in the description below i really hope you're as excited about this game as i am because it looks really really awesome i can't wait to start seeing some more development from the team and uh hopefully that fraser will give me some info that i could give you guys real soon about some upcoming developments at any rate guys thanks so much for watching as always this is little Jen signing off we'll see you next time